Bedtime Stories, The Bell of Justice, adapted from the ballad by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, illustrated by John Goodall. There once was a small and humble town called Atri. One day, King John's procession came through Atri. When King John reached the town square, he said, By royal order, a bell shall hang here. When anyone is wrong, ring the bell. When this bell of justice is rung, the town's judge shall correct whatever wrong has been done. And so, a bell hung in the square, and the king's orders were obeyed. For many years, the bell of justice rang when wrongs were done. When livestock was stolen, the farmer rang the bell. When a grandmother's fruit pie was swiped, she rang the bell. When a child was bullied, he or she rang the bell. In every case, the judge would bring justice to those who had done wrong. Yet Atri's love for the bell of justice ended. After many years of not being used, the bell rusted and its rope fell off. Although Atri had forgotten about the bell of justice, the town's judge had not. He called to one man and said, Please go into the woods and get a vine. We will tie the vine to the bell so that it can be rung again. Since the rule of King John, other things had changed besides the bell of justice. During King John's reign, there had been a gallant knight called the Knight of Atri. Tales of his adventures were still told, yet knights just like bells grow rusty with age. The Knight of Atri was no different. His hair had grown gray, his sword and shield had rusted. He had sold his horses, hawks and hounds, his vineyards and his gardens. The old knight of Atri was content to count the piles of gold coins that he had made from selling everything he owned. The only thing he kept was the horse who had so often carried him into battle. But the knight did not take good care of the horse. Why should I bother with this old beast? The old knight often asked. I don't use him anymore, so why should I feed or take good care of him? By looking at the old horse, one could tell how poorly the knight cared for him. He was very thin and his eyes were tired and sad. The poor horse looked old and hungry. One day the horse went to the knight begging for a bit of grain or hay to eat. It's not a holiday, so I don't see why you should expect to be fed, said the knight. With that, the knight of Atri turned away his once favorite horse and faithful companion. The tired old horse trudged out into the hot summer sun, his belly begging to eat. The horse wandered through pastures, finding no grass to nibble. The horse wandered through fields, finding no corn to eat. The knight of Atri's horse finally wandered into the town of Atri, hoping to find something to eat there. But as the horse walked the streets, food was hard to find. The dogs of the town barked at the horse and chased him. The people shut their doors and windows on this hot day, hoping to keep the heat out. The heat persisted, lulling them to sleep. The horse spotted the square where a green vine hung from the bell of justice. The horse hurried to the bell of justice. While horses do not know about such things as bells, they do know that a green vine can fill an empty stomach. It was with this knowledge that the hungry horse grabbed the vine that was tied to the bell of justice. The vine had been tied to the end of the bell's old tottered rope rather tightly and the horse could not pull it loose. The horse pulled and the bell rang. The bell rang so loudly that all of the people awoke from their naps. They opened their doors and windows wondering what the raucous was. They came out wondering why the bell of justice was being rung. The people went to the bell where they found the hungry horse munching on the vine. At the front of the crowd stood the judge. Knowing that the horse belonged to the knight of Atri, the judge sent for him. When the old knight arrived, the judge said, What good, what honor, what repute can come from starving this 
poor brute. Therefore I decree that as this steed served you in youth, you shall take heed to comfort his old age, and to provide shelter, food and field beside. From that day forth, the knight took care of his horse, and the town never forgot the good that the bell of justice could bring. Hi! If you like this video, please give this a like and hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified whenever I release a new video.